Hello everybody, finally Kempuch here. Welcome to another Rachel of Legends video. In this video, we are going to take a look the condition rooms, uh, condition tournament again with the Ice Golem turn attack, but using champion only from the undead. I will show you guys the three champion. First of all, Bedalkazar. Uh, let me show you his build. Bedalkazar for the stage 21 save. Stage 25, little bit risky guys. If the boss is smack, he's sitting really hard. So you guys need a little bit high stat than this one right now. First of all, uh, again, stage 21. Uh, he's in the reflex gear and the impulse and the three reflex accessories. You don't need that. You can literally build him random set. But make sure he's a little bit faster if you are going to build him random set. Or Rejan set, uh, it's a little bit safer guys, okay? The reason I build him like that, because he only have one active skill. And uh, he have a lot of cooldown uh, reset uh, artifact right now. That can help him to use the same skill uh, more often, which is going to help us to reduce our time. So this is the only reason. And state recruitment uh, for the normal stage 21 is here. For the stage 25, uh, you guys need a little bit above uh, 110k HP, guys, because I saw the boss smack me. Uh, even it is a no crit attack because it cannot be crit attack. His strong affinity. He hit 106k damage on my Bedal Kazar, guys. Keep that you on your mind. But for the stage 21, this is more than enough. And he have a brimstone on never one star. His book and the masteries looks like that for the Bedal Kazar. Before I show you guys the run, let me show you guys the other alternative. The other champion is the Crypt King, guys. Crypt King can work on the stage 20. Uh, he's a strong affinity there, so he's magic affinity. Beside the Bedalkazar, Crypt King need a Regen set. Regen plus Immortal much be more safer, especially if you guys stat is not that high. But our stat recruitment uh, looks like that, guys. All we need is 300 resistance for the stage uh, tw 20, normal stage 20, and 225 accuracy, guys. Okay, his book doesn't have must uh, blessing, and his Masteries are looks like that. And the another champion I'm gonna show is the Rotos. This ID actually come in my Weaver, Big D. Shout out to Big D. And the uh, Rotos can also work on the hard stage 5. A little bit risky, but stage 1 totally fine, guys. Okay, stage 1, hard 1 is totally fine. I'm gonna test it right now. I'm gonna uh, try to do both of them. Uh, Nine Piece Merciless is definitely safest way to go because he got more extra turn you know there's a chance of to get extra turn cooldown reset stuff like that so that can help him to survive uh better his four star guys or blessing is the phantom touch uh, to be honest that's not good blessing for the rotos i used that back in the day but ward of the felon can be also nice maybe i should be changing actually ward of felon yeah let's go ward of felon guys rotos yeah let's do it it's better for the arena wise, not for this content, but arena wise. Masteries are important, guys. Let me show you that quickly. So, Life Drinker Masteries is very important. Uh, your Rotos must need that. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Unless you build them in the, I don't know, Regen set with the DPS build. <laughs> that can work, I guess. But yeah, this is the Masteries. There we go. Now, let's jump to the runs. First of all, let's go stage 21 with the Bedal solo, guys. Let me place a Bedal there. Bedal doesn't need the AI guys. Okay. He only have one active skill. So just throw him there. Uh, make sure you have a foot champion from Undead Faction as well. Otherwise, you are not going to get point. Uh, it's costing 18 energy for the stage 21. Again, this build can also work on the stage 25, but you guys need more HP. It's a risky. 
It's happened to me. Trust me. So second wave about to death. We are in the one minute in the game. All right, one minute, 15 seconds. We are in the boss stage on the boss left now. All right, almost two minutes full run, guys, with the Bedal stage 21. And the, we got a 32 point for this uh, run, guys. Okay, this is a turn attack, stage normal 21. Let's take a look at the Crypt King now. Maybe you guys don't have a Bedal, but have the Crypt King. We are going to try the Crypt King on the stage 20. Crypt King AI is not that smart, guys, so we need an AI setup for him. But it's not a hard thing to do it. You just uh, need to worry about the Crypt King, of course, for champion doesn't matter. So make sure his A2 skill first, and the A2 skill is the next, okay? Same for the round 2, same for the round 3. So let's take a look at the round for the normal stage 20. Crypt King also can work on the hard stage 1, but again, same rule, guys. You guys need a little bit more HP on them, because there is a high chance boss will smack you, and if this happened, uh, if you don't have a more HP, uh, you are going to get one shot, basically. Even it, even they are weak affinity, guys, okay? Heart 1 and the Heart 5, Crypt King has a potential. If you, Especially if you have a high blessing on your Crypt King, that can definitely help him to survive more, especially on the Heart Dungeons, because they will awaken a weakness. So keep that to your mind. This lady is so annoying, she cast the 3 turn block debuff herself with the counter attack. Plarium trying to they are best uh, to not let us to solo this dungeon. So they put a very annoying champion on the wave against the solo champion. Especially for the hard stage uh, Tangas, I'm trying to make a comp with the solo Sufrion, you know, the entire stage. But man, there is a Sir Nicholas on the wave. They are casting their unkillable buff with the heal. Oh my god, so annoying. And the 3% on this stage, I scored him in general. I feel like more than 3%, guys, like close to 30%, maybe. Maybe even more actually. Because I even give my Sufrion 100 more resistance. And each time he reaches the boss wave, he's getting like 3 3%. Like almost all the time. It's a crazy. So Crypt King is a little bit slower than the Bedal. Obviously, Bedal build is also uh, not fair to compare. But yeah, we are two minutes and almost two minutes. And we just arrive on the boss stage. Because uh, Bedal guys doesn't need a regen set. He has a self-heal. So that's the good thing about him. So we can give him reflex gear or the four-piece merciless, you know, refresh accessories, stuff like that. But the Crypt King doesn't have a self-heal. So he needs a regen set for that. But he's going to make the job done. It's going to be a little bit slower now because only the boss has HP burn and he needs to take a turn to trigger it. There is no ally anymore. But on the heart level of this dungeon it's not that gonna be that bad because minions is not dying that simple guys so like i said if you have a high blessing on your crypt king definitely try on the hard stage one or the hard stage five 
with little bit more HP, that's super important. But don't you worry, he's still gonna make the job done, guys. And he got a 23 point compared to the Bedal uh, with the stage 21. There is a huge difference. Obviously, this is slower, so it's a turn attack. Important. Now let's take a look the heart level with the Rotos, guys. Let's take a look the Rotos stage one first of all. He doesn't need the AI, guys. Just go for it. And after that, we can take a look the stage five. Stage one gonna be safer, but depends on your Rotos build. You know, if you have a better Rotos build, of course it's better. You know, I mean, you can farm on the hard five. Thirty second, guys. Round one is done. We are not giving Rotos to resistance, guys. Okay, because uh, he have a unique passive skill. Keep him, him uh, not getting one shot. You know he cannot get a more than fifty percent HP. Alright, stage 2 is almost over, 1 minute 12 second. Now we are at the stage 3. Both stage. We got the every debuff. Okay, we got the Bullock Revive now. Another Bullock Revive on the minion, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Only the boss left. The Chris Accuracy literally don't do anything on the Rotos. He's making us, but he cannot one-shot us, guys. He cannot deal more than 50% max HP. Doesn't matter if we already lose or 50% max HP. Uh, he still cannot do it. I mean, 50% your current max HP, actually. Like, right now, we have, a, like, 50% HP, so he cannot deal uh, more than that. And this run is 2 minutes 30 seconds. Yep, 2 minutes 30 seconds. Let's see how much point we are going to get from it. 44 point, guys. That's noticeable difference compared to the previous uh, comps. Now, let me try on the stage part 5. Again, this can be a little bit risky. I didn't test that that much. But hard stage one, definitely working with no problem, guys. Okay. By the way, it looks like uh, I forget to show the Rota stat, guys. Don't worry. End of this run, I will show you guys his total stat as well. So we are in the hard stage 5 at the moment. Run 2. Looks like we got a little bit uh, better RNG. So we beat them under 40 seconds. We are on the boss wave right now. Bullock Revive, very good. That heal reduction was a little bit dangerous there. The timing, but we... Ah, oh, come on, not Bullock Revive still? Okay.
But I think we're still good, by the way. Like, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem, guys. Even on the hard stage 5. Ah, we need to get some extra turn. Okay, that's a little bit risky right now because we cannot get a heal. If we trigger the passive, that's going to be dangerous. Alright, we got a little bit heal there. We got the freeze. Um, for, okay. So, as you can see, uh, the... RNG a little bit need to be better for the hard stage 5, but hard stage 1 definitely safer guys. We just got unlucky we didn't manage to kill the uh, minion on the right side, which is the one have a heal reduction debuff. But hard stage 1, it's easier guys, they have a less stat, uh, so should be okay. A roto stat, before I forget to mention, like I showed earlier, he's in the... Uh, 9 piece merciless set that can help us a lot and this is my roto set if you guys have a stronger rotos definitely go for the art stage 5 guys not gonna be problem trust me and that was it i i think show everything thanks so much for the watching guys hopefully you guys have one of this champion because the uh, dungeon doesn't look in that bad like i scored them re reward wise doesn't look in that bad there's also champion training active right now I think game is uh, lagging a lot guys right now. I don't know what's going on. But there is also champion training active right now. And the dungeon diver event going to start very very soon. So we can do all these three of them by farming one of these solo champion. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next time. Bye bye.